I think overall in the match, he did all right. He missed a big chance, which that's, would have put him in the lead. The, the heat map, Damien, of his, his movements. And you can see there's a big blob there, sort of the right side yeah. of midfield. Yeah, look, look, give him his credit. You know, um, he, he, he was asked to do a job by the manager and he performed it dutifully and he, 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 he executed it brilliantly. You know, he did exactly what was required of him. Frankie de Jong and Kessie had a very, very limited mm. uh, impact on that match. Pedri and Gavi had a bit more of an imp influence. So, look, he was asked to do a job and he did a job. That's the job of a professional football player. Sometimes you might say to a manager, well, it's not my natural role, but hey, listen, we got injured, we got problems, and we need to dig out. Because you're sceptical about him signing. You, you have said before, you don't think he's good enough to play for Man United. What's going on then bringing in a player like that? But you think Ten Hag said, well, actually, He's the kind of player I can ask to do a job and he'll do it for me. Well, I just think when you're thinking long term with Man United, yeah. now I know that there's a, a huge issues going on with the takeover. It was a short term stop gap type thing. They needed a number nine after Ronaldo left. Probably the options that, that Ten Hag was given were, were bottom of the barrel stuff. And he probably came up as the best of a bad bunch, basically, you know. But in terms yeah. of moving forward, it's the recruitment now for Manchester United. If the takeover will, Takeover goes through, it needs to be uh, a different approach, and I'm sure it will be. Yeah, yeah, indeed.